The condition is a dark hole in the center of the vision, which renders you unable to read or drive or use that eye for any close work. Hello, I'm Dr. Alston Lundgren. The video you are about to watch should be a pleasant surprise because it gives realistic hope to the millions of people who are suffering from age-related macular degeneration, known medically as AMD. Headlines. As of December 2013, I have personally treated over 1,500 individuals. 85% of them have improved vision. Second, the University of Pittsburgh Ophthalmology Department is running a clinical trial of my protocol. Their preliminary results are promising. This video shows a proven and practical way to recover some of the vision lost to AMD or related conditions and at the same time reduce further losses. Common medical belief is that AMD is untreatable and leads to progressive vision loss. That is not necessarily the case, as this video will demonstrate. I call my treatment the Santa Fe Eye Protocol. There is substantial evidence for my claims. I have published in peer-reviewed medical journals, and copies of those articles are posted on my website homepage, www.reverseamd.com. In 2005, I presented at the annual scientific symposium of the American Academy of Medical Acupuncture in Atlanta, Georgia. And later that year, I also presented at University of Pittsburgh Ophthalmology Department. In 2007, I addressed the annual convention of the Blinded Veterans Association in Albuquerque, New Mexico. In September 2008, I presented before the International Congress of Eye Research in Beijing, China. That's a conference of English-speaking academic ophthalmologists. In 2012, I presented before the American Academy of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine in St. Paul, Minnesota. Both papers are posted on my website. Meanwhile, I have trained perhaps 100 MDs and many of them are reporting good results. The significance is that it's the protocol that is working and not just my magic hands. My undergraduate degree is in chemical engineering from Caltech and my medical degree is from the University of Minnesota where I completed a family practice residency. I practiced for 20 years in a family medicine clinic I founded in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Then in 1998, I attended UCLA Medical School to get an extra treatment option for my patients and got my first taste of medical acupuncture. It seduced me and currently I practice full-time medical acupuncture in Santa Fe, New Mexico and am a fellow both with the American Academy of Family Medicine and also the American Academy of Medical Acupuncture. Again, as of December 2013, I have treated more than 1,500 individual patients with AMD one-third wet and two-thirds the dry variety. More than 85% have improved objectively as measured by standard eye charts and an equal percentage in other ways which are difficult to measure. Function is what matters. You could really care less what your eye chart scores are so long as you can see better. What most people want is to be able to read, to drive, and to recognize faces at a distance. Some of the other ways that the Santa Fe Eye Protocol improve vision are scotomas, the dark or fuzzy spot in the center of the vision becomes smaller, more translucent, and ultimately disappears. Less light is needed. That makes it easier to drive at night and easier to read in dim light. Colors become more vivid or return after they have disappeared. Distortions are decreased. Picket fences, Venetian blinds, and telephone poles now appear straight instead of wavy. Three-dimensional vision gets better. It is easier to climb stairs and to avoid tripping on street curbs. Finally, the film that acts like a shower curtain over your eyes disappears so that vision becomes cleared. I have been treating patients with one form or another of the Santa Fe Eye Protocol since 2001. As of November 2011, I have stabilized the protocol.
There have been minimal side effects. Most common are black eyes, which always clear on their own without treatment. I've had two patients with wet macular degeneration and a history of multiple bleeds in both eyes who had a bleed within a month of the time of treatment. I believe that that was a coincidence, but it's impossible to tell for sure. The benefits of the Santa Fe Eye Protocol seem to be long-lasting. I've been able to document improvements lasting for five years. However, AMD is a progressive disease. It seems that people who have my treatment either stop losing vision or lose vision at a slower rate than before. Obviously, slowing further progression would be wonderful. I have studies underway to try to document my clinical impressions, but it will take a couple years before we have good results. My name is Hugh Pearson. I'm 86 years young, I guess. And, uh, but I retired, oh, actually about 10 to 12 years ago and uh, moved to uh, the mountains east of Albuquerque. My name is Martha Liebert. I'm 74 years old and I live about 40 miles south of Santa Fe. I am Mary Lou Cook. I live in Santa Fe and I'm 90 years old. About 20 years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, dry macular degeneration. And I was told there was no treatment for this problem. A few years ago, I was diagnosed with macular degeneration. And I was very concerned, very upset. I wondered what would happen to me in the future because I live alone. My field is a scientific. I'm a chemist and material, and material scientist, and that's where I worked all my life. Uh, I'm retired from Sandia National Laboratory and also uh, worked for many years in South America as a consultant to the government of Ecuador and Peru also. So, and gradually got interested into painting, although more and more into painting, because I started to paint when I was much younger. Now, I noticed, uh, oh, I would say 15 years ago or so, that uh, my eyes were giving me problems. Then I went to see an oculist, and uh, the fellow told me that uh, I had incipient uh, macular degeneration. To be honest with you, I had no idea what macular degeneration was. Age-related macular degeneration, AMD, formerly called ARMD, but now AMD, is a condition of the macula, the central portion of the retina, the part that is responsible for the precision vision needed to read, write, and drive. The retina is made of specialized cells called photoreceptors. These are responsible for converting light energy into electrical signals which are transmitted to the brain. The macula, an eighth inch diameter structure at the center of the retina, has a high concentration of specialized photoreceptors called cones, which are responsible for color vision and focused central vision. The macula uses 20 times as much blood per square inch as the periphery. My speculation is that as people age, the circulation to the retina decreases, just as it does in the feet, heart, and brain. At some point, the brain has to ration the limited supply of blood and directs it away from the macula and towards the periphery. As the macula becomes starved for blood, the capacity for direct central vision is lost. People are able to see the edges of objects, but not what's in the middle. Eventually, a blank or dark spot in the center of the visual field forms, colors become less vivid, blurriness or waviness occurs. Eventually, the patient can become legally blind, which is defined as vision less than 2200. Dry AMD represents 90% of the cases. It's represented by loss of pigment in the retina and the formation of small deposits of waste products called drusen in the retina. Other than the Santa Fe Eye Protocol, the only other eye treatment is high-dose antioxidant vitamins, xanthan, lutein, and zinc. In neovascular or wet macular degeneration, blood vessels become abnormal and subject to leaking. A leak can cause sudden loss of vision, sometimes in a matter of hours or days. Wet macular degeneration is often treated with lasers or injections in the eye. 
The Santa Fe Eye Protocol is the only documented treatment that actually improves vision in people with wet macular degeneration without laser or injections. 25 years ago, the first proven treatment to stop bleeding in the retina was thermal laser. The laser beam would cauterize leaking blood vessels. The short-term consequence was an immediate three-line loss in visual acuity. However, long-term, the people who were treated were able to see better than the people who were not. Next was introduced photodynamic therapy with intravenous injections of the drug vertiporfin followed by cold laser. Unfortunately, only 40% of people with wet macular degeneration qualify for this treatment. In early 2005, Macugen was approved for the treatment of macular degeneration. It was the first of the anti-angiogenic medications which were designed to discourage the growth of abnormal blood vessels which leak and cause damage to the retina. Lucentis was approved by the FDA in 2006. It is a derivative of Avastin which has already been approved for other uses. Large trials have shown that both are equal in effectiveness, so now most ophthalmologists use Avastin which is much less costly than Lucentis. Typically, the ophthalmologist numbs the eye and injects the drug directly into the eyeball. For the first time, 100% of people with wet macular degeneration could be treated, and 60% stopped bleeding. A small percentage was actually reported to improve vision. However, when I directly questioned the drug company, their representative said that overall, people lost a small amount of vision. What is most likely is that the drug stopped bleeding and the body itself reabsorbed the blood that was blocking vision. For several years now, ophthalmologists have been talking about using stem cells. Finally, in 2012, the FDA approved a phase one study on stem cells and macular degeneration involving 12 patients. England and Japan also have studies going in the early stages. If phase one study is positive, then there will be a phase two study, which will be bigger, and finally a phase three multi-year study. Thus, stem cells offer hope, but not anytime soon. The importance of the Santa Fe Eye Protocol is that in most cases, it allows people to regain at least part of the vision that they have lost to either wet or dry macular degeneration and to slow further vision degradation in the future. And every year there was a gradual decrease in my ability to see properly. Uh, my problem is not wet macular, but uh, dry macular. Any treatment? No, I'm sorry, uh, nothing yet. And this has been now for going on for, well, I'd say 15 years or so. Finally, uh, in the last two or three years, I was really concerned that eventually I may not be able to see anything at all. I went to see a friend of mine who is an acupuncturist and mentioned uh, the treatment here at the Santa Fe Protocol. Well, he thought, that looks like the real stuff. Why don't you give it a try? So I did make an appointment with Dr. Lundgren. By great good luck and a miracle, I heard about Dr. Lundgren and immediately sought help from him. And that was, I think, last October or so. Since then, I had uh, 11 treatments. And uh, the results have been very promising. The Santa Fe Eye Protocol is comprised of three different elements. The first element is auricular medicine. This was pioneered by the French neurologist, Dr. Paul Nogier. He demonstrated that stimulating specific points on the ear caused different specific points in the brain to be stimulated. His concepts were further validated by Dr. David Alamy, who is professor of neurology and ear acupuncture at the University of Paris Medical School. Dr. Alamy, in a series of 20 patients, stimulated a point on the ear that Dr. Nogier said represents the thumb. He then did functional MRIs, real fast MRIs of the brain, and found that in 20 out of 20 patients, the part of the brain representing the thumb lit up. 
That shows a one-to-one -one correspondence that stimulating the ear stimulates a specific portion of the brain. In the Santa Fe Eye Protocol, we use a German type of ear acupuncture to stimulate directly the optic nerve and also produce increased cortisone production and increased blood flow to the retina. A second component makes use of Canadian neuroanatomic acupuncture. This was developed by Dr. Joseph Wong of Toronto. Very thin needle electrodes are inserted in the periorbital fat around the eye. These needles are electrically stimulated and probably work by increasing blood flow to the retina, but possibly work by stimulating the retinal pigment epithelium to remove waste products better, or do some other action to improve the visual function by directly stimulating the photoreceptors themselves. The third component is to stimulate portions of the scalp directly overlying the visual cortex. This has the effect of undoing strokes which had not been detected before and which affect visual acuity. Related to this are stimulating other points in the scalp that have evidence of affecting vision. These have been identified by the Japanese physician Dr. Toshikatsu Yamamoto and shared with me in private communication. So it is a remarkable treatment. I have had five of them and they're working. I am able to almost read my newspaper at this point and the dark hole in the center of my vision has receded at a remarkable rate. After every treatment I notice the difference. The treatment has been a success and that's not only not only a uh, subjective uh, uh, information but it's also uh, I can read uh, lines uh, much better in smaller prints and less uh, sharp prints also. Before treatment I was having difficulty reading a newspaper. After 20 treatments my near and distant vision has improved in both eyes on an average of four lines on the e-chart, the eye chart. I am delighted. I trust that this video has been instructive and gives you hope. The Santa Fe Eye Protocol has an excellent chance of immediately increasing vision, slowing vision losses in the future, and maintaining quality of life. For more information, please check my website, www.reverseamd.com. Thank you for your attention. I consider Dr. Lundgren to be a brilliant, and compassionate man who has helped many people like me to live a fuller life. I hope you too will be able to benefit from his pioneering treatment.